have the management of music broadcast to talk about that all important deal it looks like uh, music broadcast is going to be tuning into big fm yes buying it from reliance capital and to talk about this important transaction we have with us apurva purohit director of Mu music broadcast apurva thank you for joining in on et now congratulations on the deal let's talk about uh, these plans 1050 crores is what you'll be shelling out and um, that's i think a 24 percent stake you'll be acquiring initially so tell us how is this transaction going to play out let me explain the uh, deal to you. So uh, initially we will be uh, investing uh, 202 crores to acquire 24% stake. Uh, post which, uh, uh, of course this is subject to uh, uh, definitive agreements getting signed etc. Post which uh, we will be applying for uh, MIB approval and uh, we expect the deal to culminate, the control transaction to culminate by uh, March 31st, 2020. Uh, which is when the lock-in period of certain of the stations expires. And we expect to get the MIB approval in six months. Okay, uh, Apurva, so what does this bring uh, to the table for the company and uh, the combined network? How many stations is it going to own? Which are the cities which uh, you will now have a stronghold on? Uh, so, Radio City has currently 39 stations and uh, we have a presence in all the large metros and mini metros in the country across uh, all the four zones. Uh, with uh, RBNL, we will be adding 40 more stations, so that takes us to uh, uh, 79 stations totally, which makes us the largest uh, network in the country. Uh, between both the networks, there will be a multiple frequency uh, operating in all the big metros and uh, 30 new stations where Radio City uh, doesn't currently have uh, presence. So as a consequence, the reach of the entire network will go up from 62% of the FM footprint to around 82% plus, which again is amongst the highest reach in the country. Uh, Apurva, how are you finding this acquisition? What's the timeline in place? So as I explained, the timeline is approximately a year from now because um, uh, the ministry approvals itself will take six months and the lock-in expires on 31st March 2020. Uh, the funding will, the initial funding of 202 crores happens from MBL's internal accruals. 500 crores of debt we will be carrying on the RBNL books and that, that will be paid subsequently through the RBNL accruals themselves. Uh, the balance funding, whatever the final amount that comes to basis, adjustments, etc., will be funded from long-term uh, uh, borrowings by MBL or internal accruals. Uh, the last, of course, is the least preferred option for us because, as you know, we prefer rewarding our shareholders. So this is broadly the way the funding will proceed. Okay, Apurva, let's shift focus to your fourth quarter numbers then. And I think what particularly stands out over there is the very healthy margin. So the question is, will this 35% margin uh, range sustain? And overall, what were the key growth drivers for the fourth quarter? So, um, as you're aware, uh, this year we've uh, delivered very healthy margins of 35% on an annual, annual basis. Quarter 4 was uh, delivered margins of 39%. So, we certainly believe that the margins will only be on an upswing, primarily because uh, radio is a fixed cost model business and operating leverages in this business are very high. Uh, in fact, some of our mature markets deliver margins as high as 40% percent 45 percent so definitely margins will keep on improving for this business uh, what about uh, ad revenue what's the outlook on that and uh, what was the impact of you know the general elections and state elections on your revenue as you are aware last year has been fairly muted for uh, you know the economic conditions were average there was a fair amount of uncertainty in the market etc etc so given the fact that uh, uh, there is a stable and incumbent government back in place, we obviously expect sentiment to improve in the uh, in the uh, short term and advertiser uh, spends to, to only go up in the coming year. And we obviously hope that the government will uh, uh, look at several structural reforms and increase their own spending so that consumption gets fired in the uh, in the country. So that is our expectation of the uh, of the coming year. Uh, as far as the elections are concerned, yes. There was election spending in the last uh, uh, last year, but it got of, it sort of got spread between quarter four and quarter one. 
Okay, Apurva, let just uh, uh, give me a, a guidance over here. I mean, analysts are saying that you will be able to do a revenue growth in early double digits over the next three years. Uh, do you think you will be able to do that? Are you on track? I think we should be on track. Obviously, a lot depends on how the economy plays out because as you can see from a margin perspective, we are in a very healthy position. In a muted uh, year, we've been able to deliver 9% growth. So if we get a bit of uh, uh, tailwinds behind us and the economy fires in the medium term, certainly 11%, uh, in fact, better than 11% uh, quite possible for the radio business. Okay, uh, Apurva, thank you for joining in. Congratulations once again on the deal and wish you good luck for the coming uh, months with a big FM being added onto your portfolio.